the trust perceived contains themes of what could be interpreted as self-mutilation and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Strange reports this week of what can only be described as bodysuits found across the city. They appear in the likeness of not only human beings, but also animals. To hopefully shed a little light on the situation, we have Lizbeth Owens standing by with Detective Angelique Juarez. Liz, what are we looking at here? I am indeed here with Detective Juarez, and I'm personally at a loss. But what do you think, Detective? We're in the early stages of the investigation, and I can't disclose all of our findings so far. But I can say that our tests have shown that these suits are composed mostly of organic materials. The few we found so far have been in low-foot traffic areas, such as alleys, storage facilities, and along the riverbank. So they're made from recycled items, things like cardboard and other everyday plant-based items? No. I'm saying that their composition is most similar to that of skin. The strangest part is that each find is very close to samples from the creature that it looks like. So you mean... Yes. A dog suit had nearly identical biological properties to that of actual dogs. Same for rats. And for the ones that look human. Wow, this sounds like something right out of a sci-fi movie. It does. But I can assure you that it is not fiction. Everyone, please exercise caution and be on the lookout for suspicious or out-of-the-ordinary activity. I'll absolutely take your advice on that. Can we expect a statement from Detective Parker about the case? Parker has his hands full currently with the upcoming Red River Reaper trial, and he was recently assigned to the abandoned power station investigation. Ah yes, those will definitely keep him busy. Well, we wish you and Detective Parker luck with your investigations and keeping our city safe. Thank you for the information, Detective. Back to you at the studio. Thank you, Liz. And thank you, Detective Juarez, for all of that important information. Like the detective said, everyone, please stay safe and stay aware. When we return, we'll be checking in with the families of the five hikers who are still missing after illegally exploring the abandoned power station. No, no, this is not good. I've only been in this strange place for four days, and they were already finding my shed selves. If I want to avoid being caught, I need to practice not just looking like these humans, but sounding like them as well. Yeah. I'm on my way to the station now. Do we need anything for dinner before I board the train? Huh. Okay. Let's, Let's give this a shot. D d do we need anything for dinner before I board the train? Huh. Not quite right. Do we need anything for dinner before I board the train? Okay. That was pretty good. Let's see. What else? Bro, <laughs> you had to be there, man. I was going for the layup, and bottom rimmed it, and it bounced right off my face. <laughs> ah, it was priceless. I hope one of the guys recorded it. Wow, so obnoxious. Well, it could be useful. Here we go. Ha, ha, ha! It was priceless. I hope one of the guys re re recorded it. Oh boy, I don't like this at all. People are giving me weird looks. Alright, let's give it another go. <laughs> ah, it was priceless. I hope one of the guys recorded it. Oh, much better. I can definitely get better and better at sounding like them. I just need to hold my forms longer. But... Sunglasses! Cheap but great A sunglasses! Yo, you need some sunglasses? You look like you could use some sunglasses. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. Dang, man, you're sweaty as hell. Are you all right? Bad, bad, bad. What do I say? How do I say it? Oh, all right, just say something simple. I all right. Uh, okay, if you say so. Jeez, what's this deal? Come on, it's happening again? This is really bad. My ability to hold a form indefinitely is unstable in this place. The humidity here is so intense. And this fur-covered quadruped might help. I don't know how long I'll last here. I need to find out what's happening. All right. I think the coast is clear. A puppy! Can I pet it, please? I don't have time for this. Please leave me alone. I'm sorry. Stay back, honey. 
no collar. Probably a stray. Get! Get out of here! But Daddy! Puppy! Whoa! Look out! Jeez, it's a rabbit! <gasps> Whoa! Jeez! Oh, Baby! Call animal control! R right! Holy shit! <sighs> Hi, hi. Yeah, we just saw a really big, weird dog run by. Uh, no idea what breed it is, but no collar, and I think it growled at a kid. Sure, we're at, uh, where are we, babe? Between 7th and 8th Street on Main. Uh, thank you. They're on their way. Why are there so many people everywhere? It's so busy and congested and overwhelming all the time. I just, I just need to know what to do. Where to go? Anything! Coming up on the area that we received the call for. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy that, but I'm not really sure what we're supposed to be looking for here. The only description we got was that it's a really big weird dog. <laughs> you got that right. People can be so... Ah! ah! What the hell was that? Ooh, we have our trail. Follow the L's. On it. What do you think it is? Do you think it's actually a wolf? Or is the woman that called it in just a total loon? Uh, I mean, this time last year, I would have said, yeah, this lady probably saw our first ever German Shepherd. But after all the strange stuff lately, I'm not so sure. It could be anything. Dude, you're supposed to say, nah, totally gonna be a Chihuahua. You really want to try to wrangle a fucking wolf, man? <laughs> Hell no. Are you crazy? We didn't get trained for that. 
All they told us was around here the worst you'll have to deal with is an opossum in a basement. I'm not trying to take on a wolf, but we do need to see what it is first. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It, it could end up being a chihuahua after all. <laughs> it could, yeah. A little unlikely, considering the woman said really big on the phone. Why, why you gotta crush my dreams, man? <laughs> sorry, sorry. You're right. We'll probably just find a ferocious chinchilla. <laughs> Screw you. <sighs> Hear that? Sure did. It's gotta be close. That scream was no more than a block away. Be on the lookout for large gaps between the pedestrians. Copy that. You know, whatever we're after seems to be pretty smart. What do you mean? Think about it. The only thing we've heard have been startled or scared screams. We haven't heard any car horns or screeching tires. It seems like it's sticking to the sidewalks and not really going into the streets. Huh. You're right. Damn. That's pretty observant and smart of you. I'm making myself too nervous to figure out if that's a compliment or not. <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about something else. Um, how, how, how's things with your ex-wife? Uh, Leanne, right? Yeah, she's doing well, I guess. Our oldest is home with her fresh out of college and being a little- ah, ah, Get it away! Ah! There! That one came from over by that cafe. Can, can you see it? That scream came from your side of the road. Holy shit! Yeah, I see it. Looks like a greyhound, but with really long hair. What in the world? Pull up to the curb. I'll get out and try to force it into a corner. Right. Then I'll try to wrap around and flank it to cut off any escape route. Alright, let's do it. Aw oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to knock her over. Is she okay? Can I help? Does she understand me? Sorry. Whoa. You're even weirder looking up close. Alright. I'm not gonna harm you. I just need to put this little lasso around your neck to take you somewhere safe. He believes he's talking to this creature I've changed into. It's good. But he's saying seems gentle. And his stance and demeanor does not. I may look unintelligent, but I'm not. You in position? Uh-huh. I have eyes on the... dog? Copy. I'll move first and try to force him your way. Roger. I'm ready with the crate. <sighs> okay. One in front of me, and one behind me. If I understand their intent from what they said, my way out is forward. Okay. Moving in now. Okay, here he comes. Hold my ground. Ready. Come on. Move already! Now! Oh, God! <laughs> ah! Shit! What the hell? I just saw that. What happened? Well, if you saw it, then you know what happened. The crazy thing charged me and jumped right over my head. Get the van. We can't lose it. Already on the way. Get in. Did you see where it went? <sighs> yeah, I think I saw it around the corner by that comic shop. A little hole in the wall place? Yeah, my kids go in there from time to time. Now come on, we can't let it get away. I can't run the light, man. Ah, uh, damn it! Calm down, it's a huge, strange-looking dog. It's kinda hard to miss. Yeah, you're right. Keep your eyes and ears open. We're sure to find it around here somewhere. <sighs> I think I bought myself a moment. I need to change again since they're looking for this form. But what should I... Are you excited to get the new volume of, uh, what was it called again? Magus Opsis? The best infiltrator superhero ever to be thought up and drawn into manga? Sure, Major Doofus or whatever. No, Magus Op... Uh, shut up! Come on, I'm just screwing with you. It is my contractual obligation to annoy you as your older brother. You're just gonna have to deal with it or make me stop. You know I can't beat you at anything. Exactly. Now, hurry up and go grab your comics so we can go home. Oh, perfect! perfect. Young, Young ones are always overlooked and unbothered by others, except for their friends and family. And if the men following me find me, they'll just ask me if I've seen a strange creature. They likely won't even ask because I'll be a child. That's it then! I'll just become... 
An unassuming, normal, young female. Now I just have to dispose of my shed quadruped, and I can return to my search for a solution to- Hey! What are you doing in my garbage? <gasps> no! Wait, I'm okay. It's okay. I'm a child. I'm looking for food? Yes, yes. I'm hungry. You... you want me to feed you? No, not gonna happen. What are you doing here? Where are your parents? No. No as in you're not gonna tell me, or you don't know where your parents are? No parents. You have no parents, or you don't know where they are? N no parents. Oh. Well, um... Oh, jeez. Okay, come on inside and we'll get this figured out. Oh, okay. All right, let's take a seat here behind the counter. Is there someone I can call to come and pick you up and bring you home? No. You don't have any family? No. <sighs> I'm not getting anywhere here. Uh, do you have a home? You know, a house that you sleep in? Yes? No? No. Jesus. Okay, stay right here. I'm gonna call someone that can come take you somewhere safe. Stay, okay? Yes. You can say yes. fan frickin' tastic So far, so good. I'm uneasy by what he means by somewhere safe. That's what the man with the binding said before he and his friend tried to capture me. I need to figure out my next move. Come on, dude. We need to get going so we don't miss the bus. See? She can ring you up. But I want to keep looking around. They have figures of Magus Opsis, too. Uh-huh. And do you have enough money to get them? Mm, no. Right. Now, ask the nice young lady to check you out for your major doofus comic. Uh, manga! I don't care. Let's go. <laughs> Hi there. Hello? Hello? Uh, hi. I'd like to buy this manga, please. This manga? Yes or no? Yes. Can you ring me up? No. W what? We need to go. What, what do you mean, no? Why can't you check us out? Can't check out. No. I don't know what you mean. Are you on break? Do you even work here? Where's Pete? Going to call someone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, Pete! Guys, guys! What's going on? I'm on the phone with the pull. Oh, crap. I'm sorry, you guys. This one was scavenging for food in the garbage. I brought her inside and told her to stay put while I called someone. Yes. Well, why in the hell was she behind the counter? Give me a break, man. My midday part-timer called out today. I'm sorry, I need to get back on the phone. You two are in here all the time. Can you watch her for a minute? Thanks a million. Wait, what? I'm so sorry. I'm here. Anyway, she has no name. Wait. Kid, do you have a name? Ian, yes. Sorry, you, you said Lynn? Y yes. All right. That's better than nothing. Her name is Lynn. But other than that, she says she has no parents and no home. And I don't... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I think we missed the bus, Andy. You think? Ah, shit. Well, I guess I gotta call Mom so she can come give us a ride home. I can't believe the last five minutes just happened. Unreal! Can I read my manga while we wait? Huh? Y yeah, sure. Fine. But don't go anywhere. Stay where I can see you and away from her. She makes me nervous. Okay, let me know what Mom says and when she'll be here. Will do. Hey, honey. Everything okay? Eh, so-so. Lou and I decided to take the bus to the comic shop because apparently the latest volume of his major doofus- Magus Opsis! No one cares! Sorry. Anyway, we go to check out and the super weird girl is behind the counter. I don't, I don't have, have long until the other man returns after, after calling potentially dangerous people. people. I should I try, try to, to escape, escape with them. them. It's, it's been, been a while, while, but I think I have to make friends with them. them. Can I read manga while we wait? Uh, oh, it's you. 
Uh, you want to read my manga? Yes. I don't know. Why don't you go get your own from the shelf? I... I don't know read manga. You can't read? No. Well, that sucks. I guess you can watch as I read. I'll read out loud so you can understand what's going on. Magus Opsis is the coolest! Magus Opsis? You don't know who Magus Opsis is? No. No way! Okay, well, prepare to be blown away! Magus Opsis is a superhero. My favorite superhero who can change how he looks through magic. A shapeshifter. He can be different people. He can be different animals. He can change. He's a shapeshifter? Yeah, he is a shapeshifter. He's always the first one to go into action, but he's almost never in danger because he always enters disguised as someone else that's part of the bad guy's group. Then he. No one else to be seen, and she probably has a screw loose. So I yell for Pete, and he was apparently in the back calling the police because she just showed up and was digging around in his garbage. Oh my god. Um, okay, sit tight. I'll be there in a few minutes. My new office is only three blocks from the comic shop. But see you soon. I love you. And, and tell Lou I love him too. Bye-bye. Love you too. See ya. Dude, what did I tell you? Sorry, she just seemed curious about Magus, so I wanted to explain to her. Lou... Come here for a second. Listen, I don't like any of this. From what Pete said, she just showed up out of nowhere and was digging around in the garbage. For all we know, she could be dangerous. We don't know. Well, we don't know that she is dangerous either. She could be really nice and just has trouble talking and stuff. Lou, it seems like she has nowhere to go and no one to come get her. That sounds like she came from a bad place. And even though, yes, we don't know that she's not a nice, awkward girl, it's better to play it safe and steer clear. Haven't you ever heard of Stranger Danger? Haven't you ever heard of A Leap of Faith? Just because you didn't make any new friends after high school doesn't mean I have to be the same lonely bum you grew up to be. Fuck you, man. I'm trying to look out for you. You know what? Whatever. Go hang out with your new friend and get shanked. I don't care. Fine! I will! You have a good guardian, Wu. Are you okay? Huh? Oh, yeah. He just pisses me off sometimes. He treats me like I'm still a kid, but I'm not. I'm 15 and I can make my own decisions. Well, that sucks. <laughs> yes, it does suck. He's a good brother, though. Yes. <laughs> anyway, right. We were talking about Magus. There's a total of 209 chapters in 19 volumes out right now. It's kind of a new series that's been coming out since last year. I could read them online, but I like to have the physical copies because they look cool on my bookshelf, and it helps out the creator when you buy them. Okay. Their team's gonna do some digging to see if they can find any more information about where you should be. They should be calling me back within the next half hour. Okay. <laughs> hey, Lou. Are you entertaining her or boring her with Magus Opsis? Shut up! You were literally telling me earlier today that you love Magus! <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. I do love me some Magus. Really doesn't rely on flashy panels of special attacks or anything. Just really well-written characters and subterfuge. Exactly! Self-righteous little punk. Can't stand it when he talks shit like he's better than me. Andy, hey. What's going on? Where's Lou? Don't worry. He's inside. Inside with that poor homeless girl? Alone? He made it clear to me that he can take care of himself. But no, of course not. Pete's in there too. Sheesh. <laughs> You're unbelievable. And put out that cigarette. You're not a burnout. For God's sake. Lou? Lou? Over here, Mom. I'm reading Magus Opsis with Lynn. Who's Lynn? This is Lynn. She's also a new fan of Magus, thanks to me. Yes, this is Lynn. Uh, okay. Honey, it's time to go. Come on, I'm having a good time reading with Lynn. Lou, we're leaving. Now. But I want to stay and hang out with Lynn more. I haven't even bought this volume yet because we've been so caught up in talking about it. 
that's nice. But you can read it at home once you buy it. Now let's go. Mm, okay. I'll take this volume, please, Pete. Uh, all right. No problem. That'll be $15.93 after tax. You gonna use cash or card, bud? Card, please. Okay. You're good to insert whenever. I have, I have to, to leave, leave with them. them. What, what can, can I do? do? What, what can, can I say? <sighs> that may work. I want to stay and hang out with Lou more. Um, well, that's nice, but I really don't think that... If I may, Miss Hamilton, I know you're not going to like this, but maybe Lynn going with you isn't such a bad idea. What are you talking about? She's basically a lost orphan from what I've gathered. That could be the case, but she really hasn't caused any trouble since she's been here, aside from being behind the counter when Lou was ready to buy his manga. And that's my fault for leaving her there and not bringing her into my office. What are you trying to say, Pete? I'm saying that I called the police and told them everything. They said that they'd get back to me within a half hour if they find anything. And it's been nearly 20 minutes. And? And I own and run a small business myself. I don't know if I'm going to hear anything from the police today or at all. It seems like Lou and her get along fine and are just quiet little nerds together. Hmm. I guess they did seem to like being around each other. Right? So since it's pretty likely that it could be days before the police find anything... She could stay with me? I know you guys better than any of my other regulars. And you have Andy at home to watch her when you're at work. If you let me know your address, I'll call the police back and let them know that Lynn is staying with you. So they know where to go if they find out anything about her. You're right, I don't like it. But it is probably the only option right now. All right, but you owe me big time. Oh, I know. <laughs> and you know I'm good for it. Okay, Lou, Andy, and Lynn, let's get going. I'm sorry, what? Why is she coming? I'll explain more when we get home. But we're going to watch her for a little while until we're told she can go elsewhere. You've got to be shitting me! Hey, that's enough. I said we can talk more about it when we get home. Uh, really? Awesome! Now, Lou, I know you're excited, but she's not staying forever. And the first thing we're going to do when we get home is going over the new rules, okay? Sure, sure. You hear that, Lynn? You're going to be staying with us for a bit. Really? Awesome. Oh, thank goodness. This will give me time to think and find out how to get out of here and back home. Just text me your address, and I'll let you know if I hear anything. Will do. And I'll let you know if there's any issues. All right. Seatbelts, everyone. Seatbelts? <laughs> Don't worry. I got gotcha. you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hush. Is everyone in? We're all good back here. All good. Yes. Okay, then we're off. Detective Juarez, I just got off the phone with Pete from the comic shop. He reported a seemingly lost girl earlier today? Yes, yes. Did the child's parents show up? No. He was calling to update us with where the girl will be staying while we try to find where she belongs. He didn't keep her at his shop. <sighs> Why do people decide to just ignore standard protocol? <sighs> Alright. Where will she be staying while we do our jobs? Looks like the Hamilton residence, just outside the city. <sighs> okay. Just be sure to notate the specific address in the case file as her current location. Have you found any matches in the missing persons database? Also a no. We really don't have much to go on. Only that she's in her early teens, straight blonde, almost white hair, and that her name is Lynn with no last name. Damn. All right. Keep looking in case we miss something. I'll get in touch with the Hamiltons to see if I can get a DNA sample from Lynn to help with the search for her family. But first, I need to check with forensics on what they found after testing these skins. Yes, ma'am. Never a dull moment in Portheim. 
Ah, Detective. Here for the rings on the skins. I am. What did you find? <laughs> Too much. And at the same time, not enough. <laughs> You're in the wrong business to be cryptic. Spill it. We ran a DNA test on one of the human skins and found zero matches. What? It gets weirder. We checked both the human and animal looking skins for their chemical composition and found zero matches except for each other. What the hell? Yep. Whatever these things are, or whatever's making these, it's definitely not human. And it may not even be from this planet. The skins themselves are very reminiscent of a shed reptile skin. Jesus, what is going on in this town? Never a dull moment in Portheim. <laughs> really not the time for jokes. Keep these readings as need to know. The only other person you tell besides me is the captain. And maybe Parker. He's run into an odd experience or two from what I've heard. What readings? Exactly. Let me know if you find anything else. Yes, ma'am. You got it. Where is the connection? There has to be a thread to follow. I can't get too hung up on the test results. I need to know who and where the skins are coming from. Well, I'm not going to crack this case open right this second. I'll start with something more simple. Hey, did Pete give you a phone number for the Hamiltons? He did. Here you go. Thanks. I'm going to see if we can arrange to meet this Lynn girl and get a DNA sample. Mom, your phone is ringing. Don't worry about it, I'm driving. If it's important, they'll leave a voicemail. Otherwise, it's probably one of those stupid bots. Okay. How are you guys doing back there? We're good. Yes. Good. Good. Are you okay, Andy? What do you think, Mom? I know, honey. I'm not super comfortable with it either. But I'll use some paid time off that I have so that I can stay home and keep an eye on everyone. You've only been at that job for a few months. How much paid time off can you have? I have enough for the next three days. Cool, cool. And when nothing changes and we don't hear anything about where she can go? We'll figure it out. I'm not stupid, Mom. You'll need to go back to work to earn enough for us to live. Then I'm gonna be stuck playing babysitter for those two. It could help out a lot if you were working as well. God, yeah, I know. I've applied everywhere that I could use my degree. And to the surprise of no one, I haven't heard back from any of them. Why not start out somewhere small like food service or retail? That will at least give you some work history and some income. Mom. I got a degree in mythological studies. Why would I waste my time and education at some fast food joint or standing at a cash register? I want to work at a library or something. Or better yet, investigating the validity of some of the scary stories that we've heard through the years as a people. I know you do. I, I want that for you too. But all good things come with time. And I think that at least getting some money of your own will help you with... Getting some of the things you need to really pursue this career of yours. Okay, I'll look into some of the options nearby. But then, who's gonna watch The Wandering Orphan? Lou is a smart kid. I believe that he'll be alright in his own after a few days of getting used to her being with us. I hope it doesn't turn into a few days. So do I. I hope she can go back to her home. But we have to be prepared for the possibility of her staying. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh shit! Magus is in trouble here. He doesn't know the code word for entering the bad guy's hideout. Doesn't know the code word? Nope. You see, Magus can only change into people or animals physically. He doesn't have the thoughts or knowledge that the original thing he's copying does. Well, at least they got that right about what shapeshifters can and can't do. Oh shit, yes. Oh shit indeed. He's about to be compromised unless his guy in the van, oh, that's a commonly used character in superhero franchises, is able to find out the code word and let him know via Magnus's in-ear radio. Guy in the van? Yeah, the guy in the van is sort of like the superhero's helper. Usually they're really good with computers and hacking and stuff. Always the one to get information quickly for the ones in the field, like Magus. 
He's a field agent. Field agent? Yeah, they're the ones who are out in the world going to different places kicking ass. Basically all the physical stuff, while the guy in the van is responsible for all the digital stuff. Know what I mean? Yes. Sweet. Let's keep reading then. Well, the reading will have to wait for a bit because we're home. Thank God. Now I can shut myself in my room and spare my ears from any more talk about Major Doofus. It's Magus Opsis. Magus Opsis. All right, Lou, don't let him antagonize you. Andy, stop calling his comic book character the wrong name. Manga, Mom. It's called Manga. Ugh, you guys suck. Oh, sorry. Manga character. (laughs) See, it's not just me that has no idea what any of that stuff is called. Shut up! Okay, okay, that's enough. Let's all go inside, please. You two are being terrible role models for Lynn. I I disagree. These two are fine young people. You should be very happy and proud. Yes, yes, terrible. (laughs) Don't side with her, Lynn! Yes. (laughs) Hey, hey, keep moving, please. You can defend your honor as you open the door, Lulu. Uh, Mom! Don't call me that! That's my kid nickname! You're still a kid, honey. Fifteen isn't even close to adulthood. She's right, Lulu. I'm 22, and I'm still not really even an adult. Correct. Neither of you are really adults yet. You know, I was expecting you to say something more like, No, honey, you're an incredibly mature and responsible adult. Not yet, Major Doofus. Now open the door, please. (laughs) Whoa, good one, Mom! You know, (laughs) that, that, that was pretty good, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Now, everyone, let's talk in the kitchen. Sure. Okay. Yes. Is Lynn going to stay in my room? Because I think... Absolutely not. Now... You better not say she's staying with me. But why not? Room? Okay, then. First things first, Lynn will be staying in my room. This is not up for debate. Lynn, I'm sure that you're very sweet. But you are a stranger. And my kids are the most important thing to me. To make sure that they are safe, you'll sleep in my room. Is that clear? Yes. 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 Good. Next rule is Lou. Since Lynn appears to have trouble with some common do's and don'ts, you will be the one to show her what they are and how to do them. Understood? No problem. You got that, Lynn? Eyes on me. Yes, eyes on. All right. For when I am not in the house, Andy is in charge. That means you listen to him. And don't cause trouble just because I'm away. Sounds good to me. Copy that. Yes. That means for you, Andy, no intense gaming while I'm out and no abusing the power of being in charge. These two will not be your servants. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll be a benevolent ruler. Andy. I got it. Don't worry. I'm never not gonna worry. Sounds good, Mom. Can we go hang out in my room now? Hmm? That's fine. But keep your door open. And also, one more rule for Lynn specifically. Do not leave the house. The people that Pete called who will help you get to who or where you need to be know that you're here. And if they find out something that will help get you home, you need to be here. Okay? Okay. They know I'm here? No! I thought I was completely out of their reach! No, it's still fine. She said that they'll only come if they find something that connects me to somewhere in this place. There's no such thing. I'm fine. All right, I believe that's everything. You're all free to go do whatever it is you kids do. Finally. Oh, and don't forget to check who called you. Right, yes. Thank you. Hello, Miss Hamilton. This is Detective Juarez with the Port Heim Police Department. I'm calling because I'd like to arrange a time to come by and meet Lynn and, with her permission, of course, take a DNA sample to help in the search for where her parents might be. We haven't found any matches yet, so this could be the missing piece. Please give the station a call and ask for me when you have a chance. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh, that could be great. Portheim PD, what's your emergency? Hi, this is Leanne Hamilton. I received a call from a Detective Juarez earlier about the lost child that's in my care. Is she available? I believe she is. I'll transfer you now. 
Thank you so much. This is Juarez. Hi, Detective Juarez. This is Leanne Hamilton. You left me a voicemail about Lynn. How are you? Ah, Miss Hamilton. I'm well, thank you. I'm assuming you're calling to set up a time for me and a forensic officer to come by? Yes, absolutely. Would tomorrow evening work? Sometime around 6 p.m.? We've all had a weird day, so it might help to give everyone a day to recover and get used to this. Especially Lynn. I don't think that will be a problem. Just to remind you, I'll give you a call at around 4.30 p.m. tomorrow before I leave. Does that work? Oh, that's fine by me. I'll be staying home from work for a few days to make sure everything is just here without issue, so I'll be free to answer the phone. All right. I'll be in touch tomorrow. Sounds good. Till tomorrow, then. Thank you. What I'm here for. Bye-bye. Bye. Kids! What's up, Mom? I just got off the phone with one of the detectives in the city. She'll be stopping by tomorrow to meet Lynn and see if they can help get her home. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's, uh, awesome. Uh, okay, okay, okay. What, what should I expect, I expect from this? this? Uh, does she just want to talk? Is she going to try to try to take me somewhere? I don't know if I can trust my caretakers just yet. They seem plenty nice, sure. But will it offend me if things get physical? Uh, should, should I Lynn? run away tonight? Lynn? <laughs> you okay? You're sweating a lot. Are you nervous? Nervous? Yeah, you know, uneasy, on edge, anxious. Y- yes. Oh, well, that's okay. There's still a full day to get comfortable here and calm down before they come. So no need to worry. We'll take care of you here in the meantime. Okay. Yeah, we got you, Lynn. And if they come barging through the door, guns blazing, we'll defend you. Pew-pew, pow, pew-pew. That won't happen. <sighs> Oh, don't listen to him. He reads too many of those mangas and thinks stuff in them can actually happen. Hey, if the right things happen, I could totally become Magus Opsis. Not to crush your dreams or anything, honey, but that's highly unlikely. But the chances aren't zero. Technically, no. But there are a lot of zeros ahead of the decimal percentage likely that it is. (laughs) Yeah, but a kid can dream. Anyway, superhero fantasies aside, you'll be safe here. For as long as that may be, you will be safe here, Lynn. Yes. I really hope so. (sighs) Well, I don't know about you guys, but I am starving. What do you like to eat, Lynn? Don't know. Don't know? You don't have a favorite food? No. Not one from this world, at least. Well, considering the day that we've had, I don't really want to cook anything. So how's pizza sound? Hells yeah! We haven't had pizza in a hot minute. You okay with pizza? Yep. And an order of garlic knots, too, please. Good call! Do you have any special requests, Lynn? I don't want you to get sick or anything. What can I say? I'm not sure how well I'll handle this pizza thing because I'm not from this world. I can only hope nothing happens. No. Pizza is good call. (laughs) Okay, then. I'll order it now. Hi, yes, I'd like to order a large pie with extra cheese and an order of garlic knots for pickup, please. Hamilton. Great, thank you. See you in about a half hour. Okay, you guys, I'm headed out to get the pizza. I'll be back in about an hour. You remember the rules, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you all behave. See you soon. Here you go. I definitely suggest keeping the comic in the bag and board for when you're not reading it. Have a good day. All right. Pretty sure that's everyone. Yep. All clear. Just need to take care of the garbage. Oh, yeah. I didn't end up throwing that other one away earlier because I found Lynn. I wonder how she's doing. I hope that Lou hasn't nerded out too hard around her. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh! Jesus fucking Christ! God. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, good God, why is it damp? I gotta... Oh, I gotta call someone about this.
Part-time PD, what's your emergency? Hi, yes. Uh, this is Pete at the comic book store, just a few blocks over. I need a few officers and whoever is your science team or whatever at my shop immediately. I just found one of those skins on the newspaper in my garbage bin. All right, I'll get a unit sent your way. Just remain as calm as possible. It's not alive or anything, correct? N no, I don't think so. I didn't poke it or anything, but it hasn't moved since I lifted the lid. Okay, that's good. It seems like you're not in immediate danger. I'll inform the nearest squad car to head to your store right now. Thank you. I'll be standing in the back by the dumpsters. I can't take my eyes off that can. Understandable. From the looks of it, they should be at your location within the next three minutes once we get off the phone. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll... I'll be here. You're gonna want to get your keys for this one, Juarez. What happened? Another skin popped up. Where? Pete's Comic Shop Dumpster. Squad car is en route? Yep. ETA is just under three minutes. Good. I'll be right behind them. Good luck, detective. I may not need it, depending on what we find. This is Detective Juarez. I'm en route to Pete's comic shop. ETA is six minutes. Don't touch anything until I'm there. Over. Copy that. We'll start with getting the statement from the witness. Over. Good. And when you arrive, call in forensics. They should be only a couple minutes behind me. Over and out. Copy that. Over and out. This has to be a fresh one. Here in the inner part of the city, garbage is picked up every other day. And they just picked it up yesterday. That means however that skin made it in that bin, it happened at some point today. Whoever is responsible for these skins is getting sloppy. They're acting frantic. This is Squad Car 820. We've arrived at the location and Forensics has been notified to come immediately. Over. Great. I'll be there in about three minutes. Over and out. Copy that. We're about to speak with Pete. See you soon. Over and out. Excuse me, sir. Are you the owner of this shop? Oh, yes. Uh, I'm Pete, yes. Thank you for coming so quickly. Of course. I'm sure opening the dumpster to see whatever that is was absolutely terrifying. Absolutely? Can you imagine opening a dumpster to see something the size of a cow, but deflated like a balloon staring back at you? Oh, of course you can't. You can bet your ass I'm not going to sleep tonight. Do you mind if I take a look inside the dumpster? Sure, sure. I will warn you that it, it's pretty jarring. I'm sure it's not so bad. Wow. Mm-hmm. Bet you haven't seen anything like that. No. Nothing even close. Phew. That's something else. Is it really that bad? Well, I kind of want to see it, too. I'm sure you two have much more important things to do than gawk at what's in the dumpster. Ah, D Detective Juarez. We were just about to... About to do your job? You know what? You two are off the hook. You can go... keep watch or something. An actual professional is here to handle things. But we... Yes, ma'am. We're sorry, ma'am. That was totally unprofessional of us. Yeah, we're sorry, Pete. Save it for someone that cares. Like I'm sure the captain will. You're dismissed. I'm sorry for their behavior. That was unbefitting of members of the Force. <laughs> it's alright. The two of them being fools actually helped my mood a little. Well, that's good at least. Do you mind if I just take your statement then of what happened? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So I rang out my last customer and locked the doors after they left. I did my rounds to make sure that no one else was still in the store. After that, I gathered up all the garbage from around the store and went out the back to throw it away before counting my drawer. I also grabbed the bag of garbage that I was going to throw out earlier that I forgot to pitch because I came across Lynn. Did you happen to see your last customer actually drive away? I did, yes. I locked the door right after they left, 
and since it was late in the day, they parked close. They got in their car and left. Good, good. You're doing great in remembering all of this. Hmm. You mentioned on the phone earlier in the day that you found Lynn rummaging through the garbage, correct? I did. Come to think of it, she looked the most surprised when I found her. Maybe that means it was put there after I found her. Maybe. We can't know for sure until I get the chance to talk to Lynn. I'm actually going to visit her at the Hamiltons tomorrow. Originally, I was going to meet her and ideally get a DNA sample to help with finding where her family might be. But now I can also see if she noticed anything suspicious when she was looking around in your garbage. That's great. I hope she can be of help. <laughs> you and me both. I can feel that I'm getting close to finding the culprit. It's only a matter of time. Are you sure you're okay, Lynn? You haven't looked so good since my mom brought up the person coming to visit tomorrow. I... I don't know. N nervous Yeah, you're still all sweaty. Do you need to use the bathroom or something? Yes! Uh, bathroom, yes. Uh, okay. Here. I'll show you where it is. Okay, that's Andy's room, and it's right across the hall from his room. Uh, he's lucky like that. Do you need me to show you where anything is, or how to work the toilet or sink? No. No. I okay. Okay. Just yell if you need anything. Andy probably has his headphones on, but I'll hear you. Okay. Oh, thank goodness I was able to make it in here quickly. I... Oh, I can't do this around any of them. Oh, curse this humidity! It hasn't even been a day and I'm already forced to shed again. I'm glad I can at least transform at will like I did earlier, changing into this girl after being the hairy quadruped thing, which allows me to keep looking like this. But keeping the form takes such a toll for some reason. It always feels like the humidity, but could it also be related to how stressed I am? Are you doing okay in there? E yes I okay. All right. I'm here if you need anything. Okay. No. My skin, I need to get rid of it, but what can I do? Wu will also get suspicious if it doesn't seem like I'm relieving myself. Is this the toilet? It looks like a seat. I see uh, liquid in there. Uh, I don't have time to weigh my options. I need to get rid of it. No, it's too big. I need to... No, no, no. No, I can't. No, I have to. I have to make it smaller. It's not me anymore. It's not me. It's not me. It's just skin. It's just skin. Just dead skin. Okay. I think that's... That's... That's all I can do. How does it go away? Do I just close the top cover? I... I don't know. I need to clean my mouth. Then I can call Wu to help. Wu? Yeah? Yeah, are you okay? Can I come in? Yes. Oh man, are you sick? Did you puke? Yeah. How do I make... Flush it? Yeah. It's the little thing right here. Just push it down, and... Ah, uh, jeez, I think it's clogged. That's okay, though. I'll tell Mom you're not feeling good when she gets home, which should be any minute now. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, my mom will deal with it later. I should tell Andy, though, not to use it for now. Uh, hey, I just wanted to let you know to not use the bathroom up here for a bit. Lynn's sick and sort of clogged it. Hold on a second, guys. Are you fucking kidding? All right. Didn't take long for her to be a problem. Okay, I'm back. Such a dick. Okay, we should be good now. Okay. Oh, I think my mom is home with the pizza. Do you think you can eat? I, I know you just puked and all, so I wanted to ask. Don't know. It's okay if you don't think you can. Just let my mom know once you smell or taste the pizza, and she'll know what to do. Pizza's here! Come on downstairs and grab some plates! Mom's back! 
Hey, hon. Mm. I hope you two are hungry. Well, I know I am. But I don't know about Lynn. She isn't feeling so good. Oh, no. What happened? Uh, I'm not really sure. She hasn't looked too good since we got home, and you mentioned the detective coming over. She went to the bathroom and threw up a little while ago, and it clogged the toilet up there. Oh, man. Um, oof. Uh, I- I'm sorry, Lynn. Do you think you'll be able to keep anything down? Don't know. Oh, you poor thing. All right. I'll go find one of the sleeping bags we have and set you up in my room. And join you with my slices of pizza? Okay. I'll be back down in a second. Okay. Okay. Hey, Mom. Hey, no problems while I was out, right? Nope. Well, none beside the... Yeah, Lou just told me. I think we'll just have to live with just the downstairs bathroom until tomorrow. I don't have it in me to look into it tonight. God forbid I need to try and find the toilet auger your father left here with his other stuff. Speaking of, we still have the sleeping bags in the attic, right? Yup. I figured that'd be the case. No worries. I'm pretty sure they're still up there. I don't remember us taking them out for anything. Okay. I'm going to take one down and let Lynn use it. She and I are probably going to my room for the rest of the night since she isn't feeling well. All right. You want me to save you any pizza or not? Oh, I'll be down there in a minute to grab some to bring to my room. Thank you. Sure. You two better not have eaten all the garlic knots. Don't worry. I only took two, and I don't think Lynn is eating anything tonight. Dope. Dude, what the hell? You're only leaving two knots and two slices of pizza? What's the big deal? Lynn is sick. You already have your stuff, and what's left is for Mom. I don't see the problem here. Lynn may want to eat something later. I doubt it. When you're puking, the only thing you should maybe be eating is crackers. We have plenty of those here. She'll be fine. Now, I'm going back upstairs. My buddies are waiting for me to queue up. Later. Ugh, God, he's such an asshole sometimes. Yep. And we're all set. Lynn, you have a nice comfy sleeping bag with a built-in head cushion in my room on the floor by the edge of my bed. And don't worry, I like to read before I go to sleep. So if you need anything, just holler, okay? Okay. All right, I have my pizza and I'm ready to go up when you are. Okay, ready. Good night, Mom. Good night, Lynn. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Good night. I'm sorry I didn't have anything more comfortable. I hope it isn't too bad. It isn't too bad. I'm glad that's the case. Well, try to get some sleep. I'll be right here if you need me. Okay. Good night. Good night, Lynn. Tonight Tonight may be the first first night night I actually do sleep, sleep, despite everything. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm up. I'm up. (sighs) Well, good morning, Miss Affectionate. How are you this morning? What do you think, Apple Paws? Shall we go through our morning scrolling of overnight reports? Okay, parking violations. (laughs) What else is new? Missing pair of shoes. (laughs) Hope it wasn't a pair of those expensive basketball ones. Sucks to be you, kid. Hmm. Dangerous animal still at large uptown evades capture. What's that about? Animal Control is still on the hunt for a large wolf-like animal that was last seen by animal control officers in pursuit at the intersection of 10th Street and Main. No trace of the animal has been found, and animal control officials are rumored to request police assistance if the animal is not located within 48 hours. Hmm. 10th Street in Maine. That's right by... It... can't... Animal Control, how can I help you? This is Detective Juarez with the Portheim PD. Please contact the two officers who were pursuing that wolf-like creature yesterday and have them come to the police station. They may have information that could help solve a case I'm working on. 
Mm, those two officers are off today. Do they have cell phones? I believe they do. Then either call them and give them my instructions, or give me their phone number so I can do it myself before I charge you with obstruction of justice. Please. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. If my gut is right here, my trip to the Hamiltons is getting moved up. I'll see you later, Miss Applepaws. Mwah. Are they here yet? Morning, Juarez. Who? The animal control officers that I requested to come by this morning. Ah, y yes, they're in the front waiting room entrance. Good. Wait, what's happening? Thank you for coming. I'm Detective Juarez. What's this about, Detective? I have errands I gotta- You too. Follow me. Uh, what's going on, Detective? I believe I found your wolf-like animal. That's great! Where did you find it? Is it still alive? Considering the condition that I found it in when I saw it in the dumpster behind Pete's comic shop, I don't know if it was ever really alive. What do you mean? We chased it for blocks and saw it standing over a woman before it bolted. Yeah, what on earth are you talking about, Detective? In truth, I don't think I know what I'm talking about with all this myself. So instead, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. Does that look alive to you? Oh! Oh, God! What in the sci-fi nightmare fuel hell is that? What happened to it? I wish I had answers to both of those questions, but I don't. I just have a question for you two. Is this what you were chasing yesterday? Y yeah but... Ugh. It sure isn't what it was. Fucking hell. It looks like a fur coat with a face now. Thank you very much for your cooperation, gentlemen. You're free to go. Just don't tell anyone about this. If you're questioned at all about it, you can say that the animal was killed by a nearby police officer because it was posing a threat to the community. Y yes ma'am. You got it, detective. So, did you get what you were hoping for from them? My suspicions were all but confirmed, but no. It was not the answer I wanted to hear. That's good? <sighs> I don't know. I do know that I'm going to need you and your team to join me, along with a few other officers. For what? Where are we going? You'll all be coming with me to the Hamilton residence. Good morning, Miss Hamilton. This is Detective Juarez. Did I catch you at a bad time? No, no. You, you just woke me up is all. Did something happen? No, nothing like that. I'm calling because it actually turns out that I have a very light day today and wanted to see if I can stop by a little earlier than we discussed. Mm, I don't see a problem with that. Were you thinking earlier in the afternoon? If it's all right with you, I can come as soon as we get off the phone. Uh, Detective, it... It isn't even 8 o'clock in the morning. Can't it wait until a little later? Detective, are you still there? Miss Hamilton, I'm going to need you to remain as calm as possible. Can you do that for me? What's going on, Detective? Miss Hamilton, evidence has come to our attention that Lynn may be involved in some capacity to the strange bodysuits around the city. What are you talking about? What evidence? I'm not sure if you're aware, but yesterday there was a strange wolf-like animal running around town in the area by the comic shop. What does this have to do- Pete found a bodysuit just like that inside of his dumpster last night as he was closing down. The same dumpster that he found Lynn rubbaging through yesterday afternoon, around the same time the animal control officers who were pursuing the animal lost it. But how- I met with the two animal control officers in forensics this morning, where they confirmed that the bodysuit found in the dumpster was the same one that they were pursuing. This evidence allows me to bring in Lynn for questioning on probable cause. This... Mm, this is a lot to take in. 
What should I do? Just act completely normal, as if this conversation didn't happen. But keep her there. I can come with some officers as soon as we hang up. But if she isn't ready or expecting me to arrive when I do, things may go south quickly. If that happens, you need to grab your kids and get outside as fast as you can. Do you understand? I do. Good. I will be there within the next 15 minutes. Now, say goodbye as if there isn't much change in case she overheard any of this conversation. Okay. Thank you for calling to confirm. I'll see you this afternoon. Bye-bye. Act asleep. Focus on breathing. Lynn, are you awake? If you are, I'm sorry I woke you with my phone call. I'm just going to use the bathroom downstairs and be right back. I only have so long before she comes back. There are undoubtedly people coming to do something to me or imprison me somewhere. How do I escape that outcome? Should I change again? I'd have to hide or dispose of the skin. I I don't have time to second-guess myself. I'll change into Andy. I heard him wait until the night, so he'll probably be asleep for a while. Then I'll keep the skin in the sleeping bag in case Leanne comes back. Okay. Calm, collected, and simple. I'm Andy. Oh! Good morning! I didn't even hear you get up. How'd you sleep? Eh, okay. Good. The bathroom is all yours. When you get out, I I need to talk to you. All right. Liquid, liquid. I need liquid to go in the toilet. This colored container looks like it has something in it that can work. Just push it down and it goes away. Welcome back. So I got a call just a few minutes ago from Detective Waters of the PPD. They apparently think that Lynn is somehow connected to the bodysuits that have been found around recently. Really? How? How could they have- Yeah, there was some weird wolf-like creature that Animal Control was chasing yesterday that sort of vanished or something near the comic shop. This was only mere minutes before Pete found Lynn digging around in the dumpster. And later, when Pete closed up, he found one of those bodysuits in the dumpster that looked just like the creature. So much so that it was confirmed by the animal control guys this morning. I... I'm doomed. No. No. I'm Andy. As far as anyone knows, Wynn is still upstairs asleep. But I need to get out of here before this detective arrives. I'm scared, honey. I'm trying to keep calm like the detective said, but... I'm having a really hard time. A child is up in my room asleep that could be involved in some weird crime. <sighs> I'm I'm sorry. I don't want to stress you out, too. I'm going to go check on Lynn. The police will be here in a few minutes, and I want her to be awake when they arrive. No! We can't try to wake up Wynn! It's just a skin! And the police are on their way! Damn it! Damn it! Let her sleep. She had a weird day. When they arrive, they can deal with her. Yeah, I suppose it can wait for a few minutes. Maybe it's better if they take care of her themselves anyway, in case she lashes out. I'd never! You've been so good to... Stay focused! She needs to leave, but not touch the skin! What about Lou? He should know. Yes, you're right. I need to tell him, too. It's such a shame. The two of them are getting to be so close. I'll go wake him up. Okay. Lou! Are you awake, sweetie? Mm. Hey, Mom. Uh, What's up? I'll tell you downstairs. Come on. Okay, I'm coming. I wish I could say goodbye, Lou. But either I leave now, or I'm as good as dead. Too 
wait! All right. I'll approach the door and enter with my deputy and forensics. The rest of you form a perimeter. As far as we know, it's just a teenager. But fortune favors the prepared, not the bold. Roger! Yes, ma'am. Roger. Yes, ma'am. I've got your back, detective. I- I'm armed, but more of a professional with a syringe. So, I'll watch your backs. <laughs> Appreciate it. Stay focused. Weapons don't go hot unless absolutely necessary. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Who's here, Mom? Please just follow me downstairs, honey. All right, jeez. Come in. Good morning, Miss Hamilton. I hope we're not intruding. Not at all. Thank you for coming by so soon. Mom, why are the cops here so early? That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Lou, the police are pretty sure that- Hey, Mom, what's the deal with all the cops outside? Andy? Wait, but you're- Mom, what's going on? No, 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 no! Who the hell are you? Miss Hamilton? Me? What's going on here? Who the fuck? What the fuck are you? Miss Hamilton, how many sons do you have? Uh, Only two. Lou and Andy. Get away from my mom and brother. Your mom and... You phony piece of shit. You're not taking my life. Andy, drop the knife. Andy, stop! I can't! No! I didn't want it to come to this. I just wanted to know peace again. I am Andy! No! Hold her back! Andy! Andy, Andy, my Andy! Lynn? Stay back, kid. Oh, wait, please. That's Lynn's voice. I... I am not a bad guy. I'm like... M- Magus. But I w- was lost. I just... was... <coughs> what? But who are you really? Get me a paramedic to the Hamilton <sighs> residence now! Andy! Okay, I'm going to run to the store to get Andy's prescriptions. Do you think we need anything else? Uh, I I don't. Honey, I wish you would talk to me. You've seemed so absent since Detective Juarez saved Andy from that thing. Don't call her a thing. That was Lynn. Sweetheart, you saw what Lynn was. It was a suit that thing left in the sleeping bag. Lynn wasn't real. You don't get it, Mom. She... They spoke to me with Lynn's voice as they died. Whether or not Lynn was a suit... Whatever that was... (sighs) Never mind. Um... I'd like some juice, please, when you go out. Thanks. I... All right, honey. Call me if you need anything or want me to pick up something else for you or Andy. Okay? Okay. See you in a bit. I love you. Love you too, Mom. Hello? Hello, young man. Is this the number for the Hamiltons? Yeah? Who's this? A concerned citizen, calling to offer my condolences, wishing for your brother a speedy recovery, and to offer some nuggets of wisdom. Condolences? Nobody in my family died. Oh, I must be confused then. Seems to me that you lost a friend in the incident. What do you mean? That Lynn person. They were your friend, no? No, Lynn was the suit that we found. Come now. 
I know you're more clever than that. What is a suit if not a means of covering up what's underneath? I don't know what you mean. You do. You just don't recognize it yet because you're still looking at the pants and jacket instead of the wearer. No matter. You'll come to understand soon. Well, I've taken up enough of your time. All my love to you and your family. Ciao. What was that all about? <sighs> Whatever. Uh, hey Andy? You want to listen to some TV with me? Sure. I, uh... I could do that. Could you... You know... Oh, yeah. Hold on. Uh, let me come up and help you downstairs. Thanks, dude. Yeah, of course. Uh, how are you adjusting? Not great, man. I'm really nervous about where this leaves me. My dream job and degree are all super heavy on reading. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, pretty shitty indeed. But hey, while you listen, you can work on your braille. Yeah, that's true. You have the book, right? Yep. Ari brought it downstairs and left it by the sofa. You were expecting me to join you, weren't you? I wasn't expecting you would, but I was hoping you would. Well, it ain't shopping for major doofus comics, but it's still nice to spend time with you, Lulu. Yeah, it is. Now, let me know if the volume is good and if that glare is bothering you. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> That's bullshit. You're telling me you can't find any match for this person. Nothing from dental. DNA samples. Nothing? For, I believe, the third time, yes. And because of this, the body is being transported to a specialty facility somewhere. What? Where? I'm not sure. Somewhere overseas, I think. Listen, I just signed the release form that was presented to me by two guys in very expensive suits. You want details? Take it up with them. I don't even want to hear the word suits again for another year. <sighs> Glad that this case is finally closed after what happened at the Hamiltons. Anyway, thanks for all the very helpful information. Have a good day. You too, detective. Ah, good. Are you the coroner, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, no. I just left her office, down that hall and to the left. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Yes? You're here for that body, aren't you? Which body? You know damn well what body. I'm afraid I don't. I'm here for an appointment that I have with a coroner. My business is my own. Have a good day, ma'am. My business is my own. I'm sure it is. After that weather update, I know I'll be breaking out my windbreaker. When we return, a sigh of relief can be felt throughout Port Heim, as reports say that the PPD have officially closed the case of the odd body suits popping up throughout the city. With this, we urge you, citizens, to do your best to keep an eye out for any other strange goings-ons, and ask that you report anything out of place to the Port Heim PD. All this and more after the break. Don't go anywhere. A Trust Perceived was written by Roscoe Brayman. This episode of A Trust Perceived featured the voice talents of Trenton Butt as Yinsetti, Lee Brigantino as Lynn Yinsetti, Max Hertzfeld as Lou Hamilton, Anthony B. Perez as Andy Hamilton, Meredith Nudo as Leanne Hamilton, Jackie Gordon as Detective Angelique Juarez, Marcus Rothenberg as Animal Control Officer 1. Nate Washko as Animal Control Officer 2. Paul Morin. Roscoe Brayman as the news anchor. Chevelle Gutierrez as Lisbeth Owens. Brooke Johnson as Female Passerby. Jaron Bacot as Male Passerby. Nate Washko as The Street Merchant. Vanessa Benoit as Young Girl. 
Logan Fletcher as father. Garrett Sandoval as bystander one. Athena Lee as bystander two. Bree Frankel as bystander three. Justine Leah Hintz as bystander four. Ryan X. Mesher as bystander five. Whitney Holland as bystander six. Lily Yasuda as bystander seven. Elion Sanabia as bystander eight. Angie Min as bystander nine. David Gardner as police deputy. David Rush Jr. as forensics officer. Rob Schwab as Squad Car Officer 1. Elion Sanabia as Squad Car Officer 2. Melissa J. Lackey as Animal Control Desk Clerk. Adrian Whitaker as Squad Car Officer 3. Brianna Pearl as Squad Car Officer 4. Whitney Holland as The Weaver. Key Garland. James Takahashi as Hunter. Music by Key Garland. The Wayward Shapeshifter theme was written, composed, and performed by Key Garland. Audio editing by Jenna Oliver and Roscoe Brayman. Key art and logos by Ghost. And casting by Roscoe Brayman. Oh, 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 oh